Um, thank, thank you all very much. And uh, Sally, you always do such a wonderful job. And everyone here at this forum really loves you. And I, I need to take a chance to thank you for everything that you do. Stand, please. And how great is Katie Tunstall? Thank you so much for coming. Um, pe people often ask me what my favorite part of the forum is, and it's hard to answer because there are so many great things. Uh, seeing the new students at the Said School and hearing the great speakers and uh, really um, meeting up with old friends and um, reconnecting. But for me, this night always stands out because it's really our chance to honor and celebrate some of the most inspirational and innovative people in the world. And we also get the chance to entice some interesting uh, helpers to present the awards and be part of the ceremony. Um, and this year is no exception. Uh, I'll never forget when I met Dr. Rajendra Pachwari, or Pachi as he prefers to be called. I was visiting India in the summer of 2007 with Larry Brilliant, uh, school foundation board director and good friend. And we were visiting villages in India where Larry's been helping to wipe out the most virulent form of polio. Along the way, we decided to stay at an ashram where Larry had lived many years before in the Himalayan foothills. And Larry called his good friend, Patchy, to come from Delhi and spend some time with us. Well, this was in the middle of monsoon season, and the roads uh, getting up to the ashram were insane, with boulders falling across the road and the roads washing out and could barely see more than a few feet in, in front of the car. And I turned to Larry and I said, um, Larry, when, when do you know it's time to stop? And he said, well, when the car ahead of you rolls off the road and down the hill. <laughs> and I said, well, what if that's our car? And Larry said, well, then it's time to stop. <laughs> Um, so, needless to say, um, Pat Patchy was delayed. We stayed up late into the night, and no Patchy. We finally went to bed, and that didn't stop him. At, uh, um, Patchy finally arrived around 3 in the morning, and being the gentleman that he is, he slept in his car in the pouring rain, so he didn't have to wake up anybody at the ashram. Um, so, in the morning, when daylight broke, I finally met a um, tired and no doubt sore Patchy, who then led us on an incredible and unforgettable day visiting his environmental work in the region. And three months later, he shared the Nobel Peace Prize for, for his work on climate change. And the award to Al Gore and the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change was a huge boost for all of us who are so concerned about climate. And the attention the award generated really influenced the debate around the world. As the head of the IPCC since 2002, Patchy has played a key role in coalescing international expertise and political commitment around climate. Climate change is one of the most complex issues we face. The economics are staggering, the politics are daunting, and the implications profound. And working in this arena requires a deeply analytical mind and an incredible amount of learning. And with so many different individuals and organizations and regions affected by climate, it also requires a tremendous amount of diplomacy. And Patchy is an exceptional ambassador in this regard. His ability to assess competing interests, identify priorities, and forge consensus is one of the best hopes we have as a world to come together on this important issue. Please welcome Dr. Rajendra Pachwari.